Okay, so um, I've noticed that a lot of you have difficulty looking at a problem and trying to figure out what am I looking for? What are they asking me? Right? Hands if you think if you feel that way. Okay, yeah, that's what we thought. So what we've been doing is collecting a lot of your work and then looking at it when, when they pull me out of class for these many, many days. We've been looking at the data to see what are the common problems and what are the common successes. So even in the successful papers, like um, when we did the, your, what's the problem, what's your plan, step one, step two, step three, and then what's the solution, even in the ones that we considered successful because you got the right answer, there was a pattern of things that weren't necessarily done correctly. Ladies. So we're going to use that information that we pulled to kind of change some things. Like we changed how the class is set up and we're slowing it down. Um, so when you turn in an assignment, understand that we actually look at it. Even if you don't necessarily get a grade for it, we use it to adjust things to teach you better. Okay? So, yeah, we try to help you in the areas that you're struggling in. So to that end, we're going to do a another um, graphic organizer. For whatever reason, I never remember that term. Another graphic organizer. It is double-sided, just like the last one. One we're going to do together, and then one you'll do on your own. Okay. Um, this is a question that came straight off of Pearson, so it's just like the stuff we've been doing. The second one is a little <coughs> bit more difficult than what we've been doing. Don't freak out if you don't get it. That's okay. I need that information. Also. Okay. Questions, comments, concerns so far. Okay. So I will pass these out. We're going to start on the side that starts with a model train. The problem is here in the middle. I'm going to work on the elbow and on the screen so we can do this side together. Okay? Yes, Emily. When we were doing this, we were doing this. Can we train our work? Yeah, always. Because I look at that and that's how much of your grade is showing your work? 50%. Half of it. Okay. And don't forget, community service is due when? Monday. Monday. Huh? Yes. Yeah. I have four. I was in third grade for three hours, and then um, I was the butter out of it all the Rather than later, but the last day, like three the end of the week. That's a good question. Anna just asked, when is the last day you can turn in missing work? Okay. So we are getting to the end of the trimester, right? So I'm going to say the end of next week is the last day. Can you tell us what we're missing? You can look on areas to see what you're missing. Okay. If there is stuff that you are missing, you can send me an email. I can print it for you. Or you can go on Google Classroom and print it yourself. Okay. Use the resources you've been given. We can discuss that in a little bit. All right. So everybody should be on that side. On this side? One that's up on the screen. Okay. All right, can I have a volunteer read the problem for me? Michelle? There's only one problem, it's in this middle. A truck driving on a. No, it's on A model train runs on a looping track. It makes seven loops around the track each hour. The train travels at least 28 meters each hour. Let T send the length of the each loop. Right and Michelle, thank you for your honesty. Um, 
forgot what an inequality is. Can somebody help her out? What's an inequality? Emily? Uh, it's, so an inequality is like when I have more than one solution. So expand on that a little bit. When what has more than one solution? Um, an equation. What would be an equation? So a number sentence. Okay. For example, Michelle, you have to be. Can somebody give me an example? Actually, we've done a few of them. Trinity. You have to be twelve or older to ride the roller coaster. So how old could you be to ride the roller coaster? Twelve. So is there only one age you can be, or are there more than one age? Right. So that's an inequality. Okay. If I said there are, I have $10 in my wallet, how much do I have in my wallet? $10. There's one answer, so that's an equality. Equality. Okay? Because you would say the money in my wallet is X, X equals $10. Right? How old can you be to ride the ride? Greater than or equal to 12. Okay? That would help. If you're struggling with what is the definition of inequality, where should that be? Thank you. Okay, when is our test? Tuesday. Tuesday. Okay, I will give you guys at the beginning, I will give you time at the beginning of class to ask questions. I know Raymar, you had a couple questions since I wasn't here yesterday. Tim? Why? Which part, the variable or the inequality symbol? Okay. So, that way, or lower okay, so the alligator's hungry, right? So the alligator's going to eat the bigger part. So this tells me why it's bigger than or equal to this part. Does that make sense? Yeah. So the alligator is hungry. Remember that. Okay. Yes, Emily. Well, you know, like the alligator is the bigger number. Right. So twelve is smaller than y. Yes. But it could be y. Yeah, it could be. But the alligator's got a face somewhere, right? So this part right here tells us, because remember, it's like a combination of the greater than and the equal to sign, but that's just a little bit too much, so we decided to get rid of that one. Okay, so this part tells us it could be 12, and then this part tells us, or anything bigger than 12. Does that make sense? Okay. I'm not seeing anybody's notebook out, so I'm going to assume all of you, I am apologize, there are a couple out, but I will assume that most of you got this whole inequality thing on lock, right? No. So I'll give you a second to get your notebooks out. that you don't need and you don't want to be struggling with the extra stuff when you don't really need it. So the easiest way to do that is first find out what are they asking you. Can somebody tell me in this word problem what are they asking us? Take a second, think about it. Take a second, Tim. Take a second. Oh, but you have it in front of you. What is that answer going to mean? Talk with your table partner. See if you guys came up with the same answer. No. Discuss with your table partner. What do you think this question is asking? 
Yeah. 